Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick little shout out. I wanted to send out a, a quick thank you to uh, to everybody that uh, assisted me in in growing my violets. Um, back a few months ago, I think it was in the fall, I was uh, I was asking about how you grow violets and how I couldn't grow them. I could keep them alive, but that was about it. They never would flower for me, and they they would uh, they just looked sad always. And uh, you've gave, given me so many great uh, tricks and tips on how to get them to rebloom. And I've been following your instructions, and things have been working out really, really well. As you can see, these have rebloomed for me. This one was in bloom, but now it has stopped. But I do see that there's some flower buds down below. So it won't be long uh, until, uh, until that one starts up again. So anyway, uh, just a quick little shout out saying thanks so much. Um, we can all learn from each other and uh, I really appreciate uh, your kind words of encouragement and uh, yeah, we can all do it. We can all grow anything we want, really, uh, with, the right, uh, with the right care techniques. Uh, we, can, we can make it happen. So uh, one thing that I am noticing here is on, on this, uh, this violet, on its uh, uh, stems here, the flower stems, uh, you can't really see it, but it looks like there's a fungal problem. I'll have to, uh, I'll probably remove those stems and, and just uh, take them away from the plant. I'll have to look it up. Uh, I can't remember what it is called, but uh, I'll have to look into uh, treatment methods of it. If anybody knows a fungal treatment method um, for African violets, uh, let me know. I'll spray it on or do whatever I need to do. Um, unfortunately, violets tend to not respond well to uh, a lot of these treatments because of the fuzzy leaves. So, but anyway, any help is is uh, is fantastic. And again, thank you so much, everyone. Happy growing.